Are you awake? Where are we? Who are we? Whose channel are we on? Where? Here in your room at the guild. You were both hurt. You've been sleeping all this time. Oh, are you alright, Ash? Yes. Ooh, I'm glad to hear that. I remember passing out at Shining Lake. It seems like I can speak again. Oh, what about Azulf? Is Azulf okay? He's fine. Trico, compared to you two, his injuries weren't that severe. Oh, dang, we, we suffered worse. He regained consciousness earlier. He's in the guild now. Oh, excellent. I'm glad you're okay too, Trico and Ash. I should let the guild know you're awake. Everyone, they're awake! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Really awesome! Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news! Oh, I'm mighty glad. If anything, how would happen to you all? I'd... I'd... Oof. You guys are getting so emotional about this. Oh, that's right. There's something I need to share with everyone. Hey, hey. And what would that be? Do you think they already know? What? What do you say? You're saying that the great Dashnor and Grovile, they may have known each other from before all of this? Yes, it sounds like that way, the sound that way they were fighting, getting ready to fight. Well then, what became of Dusknor? Well, Grovile escaped. I think he went off pursuit. Oh? What? Emergency siren? Hey, Diglett, what's the matter? It's an alert from Magnemite. I'm told it's an emergency call sent out by Officer Magnazone. Deputy Magnemite, please shout your message down to the sentry post. Please speak clearly. Ziz, can you hear me? This is an important announcement from Officer Magnazone. Everyone, please gather at the main square in Treasure Town. Ziz. He will have a major announcement to make to everyone. All Pokemon in the area have been called for this town meeting, not just those in the guild. That is all we hope for your cooperation. Thank you. What's happening now? An important announcement? What might it be? Hey, hey, no point in wondering. Let's get to the answer. Hey, hey, let's get a move on to Treasure Town's main square. Hmm. Chapter 13, Dusnor's Secret. Oh, oh, he's here. Oh, look, the guild members. So the guild members were even called. For them to be called, something serious must have happened. Azelf. Yuxi. Mesprit. <gasps> Are you alright? You're not hurt. Yep, I'm okay. The time here? It's in Shining Lake. It will be safe there for your protection. It can't be stolen. Yep, it will be safe for now. The time gear is protected by an encasing cover of crystals. Stealing it won't be easy. Hmm. Hey, Dustor, sir! Ah, Trico and Ash. You are safe. I am so relieved. Dustor, sir, I'm glad to see you're back in action too. Or, you're back too. What the? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for saving us. So, can you tell me what happened? What happened to Grovile? What become of him? I gave chase to Grovile. But he slipped away from me. Um... Dustnor, sir, back at Shining Lake when you were fighting Grovile. Dustnor, sir, you and Grovile seem to know each other. What was that? Zzz, if I may interrupt, the great Dustnor plans to explain what he knows. That'll be the topic now, everyone gather around. Oh! That's a lot of people. Gully, I wonder what this all could be. Who knows? Don't ask me! Zzz, everyone's here. Ziz, I'd like to get the meeting started. Our topic, the rash time gear thief, thefts. Several time gears have been stolen by the Pokemon Grovile. In the regions where the time gear has been stolen, the flow of time has come to a standstill. This is a serious problem, as I am sure you can guess. Grovile failed. Grovile failed to steal a time gear. This one was protected. Ziz. Wow. Isn't that something? And the hero who protected it was the mighty Azelf. And the hero who saved Azelf and chased off Grovile. That would be the great Dustnor here. Hey, are you not going to talk about us? <laughs> That's astounding. No wonder he's so famous. Officer Magnuson, I'm sorry to interrupt. Perhaps I should explain from here. Of course, please take it from here. I cannot talk. Holy crap. 
everyone, while we should be happy that we protected the time gear. The fact is, Grovile remains at large. Therefore, we cannot afford to feel safe and secure. Grovile will most certainly make another attempt to steal the time gear. Definitely. There is another matter that is tied to all of this. It is an extremely important matter I must share. I would like to explain it to you now. First, earlier, Trico asked me the following question. Did you, I know Grovile from all before this happened? That is correct. I do know Grovile. What? What I'm about to say may be beyond your belief, but it may also happen to be the truth. Furthermore, if what I'm about to reveal is not stopped, calamity is certain. Therefore, I ask for your undivided attention. First, Grovile is... Grovile is a Pokemon that came here from the future. <gasps> future? Dad, what does he mean from future? I think he means from a place where things are yet to happen. But is something like that possible? A Pokemon coming from the future? Grovile. In the world of the future, he will be a notorious criminal. He has a large bounty on his head. To avoid capture in the future, he fled. And in fleeing, he escaped to this, the world of the past. After arriving in this time, Grovile plotted, until he hit upon an utterly cost catastrophic plan. What? What is this? What was his plan? It was nothing less, causing the planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? Yes. If the planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. When the time gear is removed, the flow of time slows in its region. As many more are taken, time slows. Eventually, the planet's flow slows down so much that it, can, it stops entirely. Ultimately, the planet reaches a state of total paralysis. If the planet is paralyzed, what happens to the world? In a world where the planet has become paralyzed. No wind blows. The day never comes. Neither spring nor summer comes. It's a world of unrelentingly darkness. It would be no exaggeration to call it a complete ruin of the world. Oh my. The world. Ruin? Is that what happens if you, the time gears are taken away? The way time has been going out of control lately? That too is caused by the theft of the time gears. If the time gears continue to be stolen, this world will end in ruin. So, that's what'll happen. This is bad. We've got to do something. Hey, hey, I have a question. There's something that I don't understand. Yes, what is it? I understand that we've got a big problem on our hands, but what I don't understand... Well, hey, it's about you, Dustler, sir. Why do you know so much? I mean, I know that the great Dustler is knowledgeable and wise, and sure, I really respect you and all, but how would you know about the future, no matter how knowledgeable you are? That's true. Come to think of it. Ah, uh, yes. What Corfish said makes perfect sense. Under normal circumstances, it's true there is no way I should know. So why do I know these things? It's because I too am a Pokemon from the future. <gasps> what? Dustlord is another Pokemon from the future? By gosh and golly. This is also complicated. It's making my head spin yip yip. My objective is to capture Grofile. It is for that reason that I have come from the future. I needed to know as much as possible to ensure the capture of Grovile. I therefore studied everything I could about this world while in the future. That's why I know so much about this world. Why didn't you say anything before? I'm sorry. I have felt terrible not saying anything. I'm sincerely sorry for not revealing my identity. I am in full of I am full of contrition. But if what I had been open about my identity from the start, what would have happened if I said that I was from the future? It would have taken me seriously. Mm hmm. Also, I need to avoid alerting Grovile to my presence. I decided I should keep my identity hidden while working while I went with my work. That makes sense. But it is also a fact that I have been deceiving you. For keeping silent about my identity, I sincerely apologize. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't apologize. You can't blame yourself. You had no choice. I concur. Dustnor has done nothing wrong in my book. We should focus on our anger on Grovile. 
we must somehow capture him. Yeah, we're in deep trouble if we let Grovile go on. We need to capture him before the world gets ruined. Just know, sir, I'd be glad to help. Me too. Bye, Gully, me too. Hey, hey, count me in. We will cooperate as well. I refuse to remain a victim. We won't let him steal another one. Everyone, thank you so much. We, plus Pokemon, must all work as one to capture Grovile and put an end to Grovile's calamitous plan. Yeah! Northern Desert music's playing. <laughs> That's North, sir. In order to obtain the time gear from Shining Lake, Grovile knows that he has to defeat me. So if he's after my time gear, Grovile will come after me. We could turn out against him. My spirit, Azelf, and I can go to Shining Lake. Then we can all spread rumors claiming that we have gone to seal the time gear so that it can never be taken. If we did that, do you think it would provoke Grovile to strike? I see, you're suggesting that we bait the trap. Yep. But that would mean exposing you to danger as the bait. I like nothing more. If that means stopping Grovile, we're ready to take the risk. Then, I understand. Holy crap. Dustler's voice is doing a number on my throat. Everyone, let me explain our plan. Please pay attention and do your part. First, I would like everyone to spread a rumor far and wide. Get the word out there about the three Pokemon, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azo. Spread the word that the trio has returned to Shining Lake to seal the time gear. Please spread the rumor as much as possible. I see. So you want the word of this to reach Grovile's ears? That's correct, but Grovile won't be convinced by rumor alone. That is why I must ask the trio of Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azel to do something. I must ask them to actually go to Shining Lake. I understand. Then when Grovile shows up to find Azelf and others, that's when we catch him. I get it now! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement. Is this arrest, arrest? Hey, hey, I'm calling it. I'm going to be the one to catch Grovile. Poor fish! I don't think you will. You're a water type. To make it worse. <laughs> no, it's my duty to catch the criminals. I don't want to get outdone by the others. Let's do our best, Ash. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for your kind offers. But for the capture of Grovile, I would prefer to work alone. Why? Grovile will be extremely wary. Even if he were to realize that Azov and the other two have truly gone to Shining Lake, he would be cautious and extreme. So if we were to lay a massive ambush for him at Shining Lake, he will undoubtedly notice the unusual number of Pokemon. I'm afraid Grovile would not be lured out by Azelf and others that way. So I must apologize. And insist upon capturing Grovile myself. Oh, I get it. That's too bad. I'm terribly sorry, Trico. This time I hope to capture Grovile without any mistakes. Please forgive my selfishness. That's how it stands, guild members. Up to now, we were capturing Grovile. Boom ta! At least that was the plan! This time, stay out of it. We'll provide support only as needed. Well, hey, hey. If that's what it takes. We have no choice. Is that an acceptable plan? Guildmaster? Yep, yep. <gasps> Not asleep. <laughs> thank you for confirming that. Oh, thank goodness you stayed away. Thank you for hearing me out, everyone. I realize I am asking a huge favor, but please do your part in our plan. And let's capture profile using whatever means necessary. Yeah! Dang. And thus, Dusnor and the trio Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf set off for Crystal Cave. In the meantime, the other Pokemon busied themselves at spreading rumors uh, that Azelf and the others were about to seal away the time gear. As for the Pokemon in the guild, that's the current situation. Until everything is resolved, we ask you to go around your regular duties. Yes, yeah, so we'd like you to spread the rumor as much as possible, but not too much. It will make Rogal suspicious. Try to be natural. Go about your jobs in the usual manner, and when possible, spread the rumor. That is all we'd like to do. Next few days, that is all. Alright, everyone. Another good day of work. Let's go. Oh, that was a lot of talking. Okay. Oh, you too. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Okay.
I think we won't have story for a very long time. <gasps> Today's oh my gosh has been unlocked. <laughs> Maybe I will play all of this special episodes. I don't know. This little bit. Are you still awake? I have to admit today was full of surprises. The great Dustler's talk about coming from the future? That was mind-boggling. Dustler pursued Grovile from the future to our world. He came to apprehend that wicked Grovile and to take him back to the future? That's why the job of capturing Grovile is his responsibility. We have to trust Dustnor about this. To be honest, I would like to capture Grofile myself. But I'm not up to the task yet. We don't have any choice but to depend on Dustnor after all. Ash, I guess you're asleep. I better get to sleep too. It'd be great if Grofile gets caught soon. Good night! Next morning. Is it another grind day? I think it's seven days of grinding. Till something actually happens. If I'm not mistaken. It? Ahem, so here's where it stands. We have not received word of Grovile's capture. Hey, hey, are Mesprit and his friends doing alright? We don't know that either. We have received no information at all. We're in the dark. I said we cannot go off on our own to spoil the trap. We will have to stand down until we, re we receive sort of word of some sort. Until then, we should carry on with our usual work. So, everyone, let's get back to work. Okay. Oh my god, guys, there's more. Listen, Ash, I wonder how Azov and his friends are doing. Do you think that they may be fighting Grovile right now? They might be. <laughs> oh, I just can't sleep with that on my mind. But if you stop to think, this is also strange. I mean, Pokemon coming from the future? Something like that is really possible? That's true, it's hard to accept that Pokemon could come from the future. Come to think of it, this never crossed my mind before. The world of the future where Dustnor and Grovile came from, what is it like? Is the future like the present day? Is the world at peace? Ooh. It's another early day tomorrow. I better force myself to sleep. I'm going to sleep, Ash. Good night. Tomorrow, let's do our best. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, someone's missing. Diglett's missing. Oh my goodness. I'm um, about to attempt to capture Grovile. We have yet to receive a word that Grovile has been captured. I understand that you are itching for something to happen, but consider this a test of your patience. Because we ask you to carry on with your usual work. Huh? Oh, what's that, Siren? Deputy Magnemite is here. Ziz, this is a message from Officer Magnazone. <gasps> News! We are pleased to deliver this report. Rovile has finally been captured. <gasps> well, at last! By gosh, Rovile has been captured. Oh my gosh, they did it! Yippee! There's more. Grovile was captured by the Great Dustnor. He has informed us that he will return to the future with Grovile. Dustnor is... Going home? Going back to the future? How do you go back? Ziz, I do not claim to understand the process, but I have heard they will be going through a tunnel. He called it the Dimensional Hole. It's kind of similar to Dimensional Scream, hmm. He opened a Dimensional Hole in the town's main square, I am told. Dustnor told us that he wishes to say goodbye before he leaves. Therefore, he hopes that you will come see him for the last time at Treasure Town Square. Zzz. Hey, hey. Well, what are we doing? Let's hurry. We have to go to Treasure Town. Right now? <gasps> Guys. Uh, uh, already? I swear I thought it was oh, going to be way later. Huh? Everyone's already here. I am... What? Hey, hey. I don't see the great dust around yet. What's that? What? I only grinded for like two days! Ugh, Ziz, that is a dimensional hole. Dimensional hole? Oh, what Magnum I was trying to explain earlier. How did how did that open there? <laughs> Golly, this is it? Isn't that something? So stepping inside here will take you to the future. Oh, watch out. Stay clear. The instant you touch it, you will be sent to the future. Please be extremely careful. Oof. Hey, Yuxi, Mesprit, Azov, Trico. You're all safe! Am I glad to see that? Naturally. So the plan was successful? Yep. I have to hand it to the great Tesnor, it was flawless. Gorval's been captured, and we've regained all the time gears he's stolen. Yes, that's excellent! Tesnor should be here along shortly. Oh, who's that? It's the great Desnor! 
Here comes the great Dusknor. Everyone, make way! <gasps> <gasps> that's... that's... That's Grovile? He looks like a bad guy, that's for sure. Heh, <laughs> it's great they finally caught him. That's right, the world is nearly ruined because of him. Everyone, today I would like to share excellent news with you. Finally, finally, Grovile. Grovile has been captured. Woo! This was all made possible by your selfless support and cooperation. I can't thank you enough. Woo! As you can see, Grovile is a vicious and wicked Pokemon. His capture should result in lasting peace for your world. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it looks like they have Grovile muzzled. He can't say a word that way. But I must also deliver a sad piece of news. It is time for me to return to the future. Everyone, I must now bid you farewell. Oh, is that was so that was true, hey hey. I'm feeling the blues. It was so much I wanted to learn from you, yip yip. You see, Mesprit Azelf, I entrust you with the rest. Yep. We know. We got the time gears back, and we'll make sure they re return to their rightful places. The task is yours. Thank you very much for everything. You have literally saved us all. Oh no no. You have been most kind and helpful. I hope you will continue to work to preserve the peace. Yes, you can depend on that. Now, I'm afraid the time has come. Ugh! Everyone, though it pains me... Oogie, I hate saying goodbyes. Me too. Oh, Diglett. I hope we see you again. The Snarcher! Oh yes. Before I go, I must see two Pokemon. Trico and Ash. That's us. Let's go up there. So, this is really goodbye. Dustler, sir. For everything you've done. Thank you. Sincerely. Well, this is goodbye. Or is it? What? <gasps> it's too soon for farewells. Wah! <gasps> you two are coming with me. Wah! By gosh. Trico, Ash. Ooh, what was that? What just happened? <gasps> oh!